Nashville, Tennessee might be known for its music scene, the Gaylord Opryland Hotel, and the famous Broadway strip of bars and restaurants. But wouldn't it be cool if Nashville is known for having a new theme park? I'm going to tell you the reasons why Nashville needs one, and near the end of the video, what types of rides and roller coasters I can see the park having. Also, I will share what theme park operator I think would be the best fit for a Nashville theme park. Now, you're probably thinking that Nashville doesn't need a theme park, since Opryland USA only lasted 25 plus years. And I kind of thought of that too, until I did the research regarding this subject. But wait, Dollywood is just over 3 hours away. Nashville can't support a park, can it? Good news, I will share facts stating otherwise. Welcome to Theme Park Predictions. My name is Brandon, and I'm glad that you chose to watch this video. If you're new to the channel and like the content, then I hope you consider subscribing. And I just wanted to say thank you to every subscriber. The channel just reached 6,000 subs, so that's amazing. And to each and every one of you, I just want to say thank you. Also, the channel has a Discord. So if you want to join the Theme Park Predictions Discord channel, the link will be in the description of this video. Now let's jump into why a theme park in Nashville makes perfect sense. The climate. The Nashville area offers great weather, pretty much 10 months out of the year. December and January kind of suck. A park in the Nashville area could offer a very long operating season and potentially could be open every month throughout the year since the weather here cooperates for the most part. Population Nashville is home to the 36th largest metro area in America, and that equates to just under 2 million people. And for comparison's sakes, that's just a tad less than the total metro population of Kansas City, which is 2.1 million. Growing City in 2019, Nashville had a 17% increase in population change. 17%. That is a very encouraging number since out of the 35 largest cities, there are only 7 other cities that feature a larger increase in population. No local theme parks. Dollywood is 214 miles away. Six Flags Over Georgia, 250 miles. Beach Bend, 70 miles. But I don't consider Beach Bend a full-blown park. Kentucky Kingdom is 171 miles away. And there are a few other small parks that are located about two to four hours away. So while these parks might be easy to get to, most of them do require an overnight stay. So there's no park around that the locals can get to quickly. Land availability. The Music City is very spread out. So finding land would not be an issue. Nashville tourism. As I mentioned earlier, close to 2 million people live in the Nashville area. And over 16 million people visit Nashville each and every year. That is a ton of people. So there's definitely a market for a theme park. Average Nashville income. The average household in the Nashville area has an income average of $88,000. So for a family of four, spending $500 a year on four passes doesn't seem too far-fetched. Opryland, USA. The park featured 27 rides, including six coasters. Sadly, Opryland closed forever on December 31st, 1997. The main reason why the park closed was due to its location. Opryland was actually profitable most of the years during its operation, including the park's last year. Another factor in Opryland closing was the size of the park. There was very little room for future expansion. Opryland's coaster collection was phenomenal. The park featured Hang Time, a Vekoma SLC. Opryland was also home to an Aero Course Screw model and a bobsled coaster. So on a scale of 1 to 10 in regards to a coaster lineup, I'm going to go with a firm 1.5. So maybe that's another reason why the park closed is because it didn't really offer any great coasters. So now, instead of Nashville having a theme park, it is home to the Opry Mills Shopping Mall. I wonder which one the locals would rather have, Opryland Theme Park or the Opry Mills Mall? Sounds fun, doesn't it? Nashville has a population to support a theme park. There's no denying that. Now, would it be a massive park with 10 plus coasters? No, probably not. But if Nashville is home to a park today, what type of theme would the park have? Would there be a water park? And what type of rides and roller coasters would the park offer? My answers are based off if this park would have opened in between the years of 2012 to 2015. If Nashville would have a park, then I think the theme would obviously have to be based around the music scene, since after all, we are talking about the music city. Now that's interesting. A theme park themed to music. Sounds just like Hard Rock Park, doesn't it? It makes you really wonder why Hard Rock didn't want to open a park in Nashville instead of Myrtle Beach. In my opinion, that could have been a game changer. Anyways, a park themed to music, and maybe it could incorporate in some way the Opryland USA name to pay homage to the original park. 
Or maybe give the park a unique name and just theme a section of the park to Opryland. There's a ton of possibilities with this. Nashville Shores is the largest water park in the area, and it's a nice water park, but it's nothing to brag about. So I definitely see this park offering a world-class water park because it gets really hot in Tennessee and water parks are extremely popular and affordable. So this would have to be a must for the park. Now for the rides, I think you see your typical thrill rides like a Freefall Tower, Star Flyer, a Frisbee, and other classic thrill rides. For the family rides, you see a train ride that goes around the border of the park, a family interactive dark ride, swings, bumper cars, and other classic flat rides. The dry park would also be home to a rapids ride and a water splash boat ride. Now, let's talk about the coasters. I personally feel as if the best coaster for a park in the Nashville area would be a Vacoma Boomerang and a Vacoma Custom Looping Coaster. What about you? What do you think? Okay, now for my real list. I think the park would feature seven coasters. One for the kids, then a heavily themed mine train for the families. A dueling gravity group wooden coaster. And the reason why I say that is because it would bring something very unique to the area since there are no other dueling wooden coasters nearby. I can see this coaster being around 100 feet tall or so and include a zero G roll like some of the other gravity group coasters offer. The next coaster I see would be a B&M dive coaster because the closest dive coaster would be Cedar Point's Valraven. So you won't find a dive coaster at any of the nearby parks. The dive would be around 200 feet tall and feature a layout a lot like Griffin at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. And for marketing purposes, this would really stiffen up the competition with Dollywood and Six Flags Over Georgia. I can also see a Premier Skyrocket 2 being built at the park, so this park can offer a high thrilling launch coaster. And finally, an intimate hyper coaster. Tennessee desperately needs a hyper coaster, and this is really where the park would challenge Dollywood. The hyper could be one of the best coasters in America, if not the world. Just imagine America being blessed with another intimate hyper coaster. So now this park in Nashville would have two coasters that have been long rumored to be built at Dollywood. If this was a reality, and sadly it's not, I guarantee you Dollywood would feel the pressure. So what theme park operator would be the best fit for a park in the Nashville area? Six Flags, Cedar Fair, SeaWorld Parks? What if you had a park called Busch Gardens Nashville or Busch Gardens Tennessee? That name alone would bring in the people. Plus, this would give the chain three different Busch Gardens parks that all offer their own unique theme and rides spread out all across the southeastern United States. So those are my reasons as to why Nashville needs and can support a theme park. What do you think? What type of rides and roller coasters do you see being built at a park in Nashville if it was built within the last 10 years? Please let me know in the comments so I can join in on the discussion. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it and stay positive, stay safe, and keep riding coasters.